Okay, in this tutorial we're going to have a look at uh, proteins, um, but before we get into the tutorial I will suggest you uh, take a look at my tutorial on amino acids if you don't know what they are, they are already, and I'll post a link for that in the description below, and there'll be a link on screen here by the time it's uploaded. So, what constitutes a protein? Well, proteins are um, amino acids which have bonded together. So, if, if you could recall from the last video on amino acids, um, amino acids contain two functional groups. They contain an amine, or an amino functional group, which is NH2, and they contain a carboxylic acid group. Um, so, let's, let's just draw this out. So, say we've got um, an R1 group here. So, that is just the rest of the amino acid. And then on the end of that, we've got our carboxylic acid um, group here, so it's COOH, okay, um, plus another amino acid, doesn't matter what it is, um, but this time we've got the other side, so we've got our, um, our amine uh, group here, and then we've got our second R group, uh, so, this can, so basically R just denotes the rest of the amino acid, and they could be either amino acid. And then what happens here is we get is they bond together through a condensation reaction um, to form a amide group. So, so I've got um Don't know what happened there. Uh, um, we've got a amide group here. So remember that is an amine group here, an amine group, that is an amide group. Okay, um, and we also as a byproduct of this reaction, and um, hence its name condensation reaction, we've got the byproduct of H2O or water. So remember this is a condensation reaction. Okay, it's a condensation reaction, um, and this can create long chains of um, of of, of um, monomers of amino acid monomers, which creates a protein. So the protein consists of any chain of amino acids, um, and they bond through a condensation reaction. Um, if you found this tutorial useful, um, don't forget to hit the like button below. Um, and um, check out my other videos for more tutorials on chemistry, physics and um, biology.